What's up guys, we're back again for another Marvel Puzzle Quest video. And then, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me fix my monitor. All right, there we go. Um, as you guys can see, I did zoom in on it because for some reason it's like small lettering when I make these videos. But anyways, we're back again for another Marvel Puzzle Quest video. Um, when I seen this, I was like, oh, they're making a four star name war? And I didn't look really close, right? I didn't look, I didn't look too close. And it's Namora. Four star. I don't. I, I. I don't get why they made a four star Namora when they could have given us given us a five star version of her, and then a five star and three star version of her, and then maybe like later on down the line give us a four star version of her when they update the feeder list again, um, or giving us a five star Namor. But maybe they're waiting for that. But uh, anyways, it's four star Namora. Let, let's get into this. Um, also, on that note, they in in my opinion, and I never talk bad i don't want to say i never talk bad about characters but besides the whole riri williams and me thinking she's a bad character but really she's the meta killer right because she's just a beast um you know she's just a beast of a character but four star namor is very bad like he's not bad but the buffs that they gave him it, it there's no change I'm, I'm sorry there's no change in that character whatsoever maybe they'll make five star name or broken potentially but uh let's get into this video enough about that um namora origin four star rarity affiliation heroes non-humans okay um see i don't like how it's like blurry but whatever so abilities listed at level 70 followed by 270 4816 health that's i mean it's normal for a four star, right? For one cover, seventeen thousand eight hundred thirty-seven health at level two seventy. Now, that's kind of high. That's, I think, you give her ten levels and she's like above twenty k already. That's pretty good. But uh, what we're here for is the abilities. So she has. I didn't even see the abilities. What does she have? Where is it at? Where is it at? They don't show it? Okay. So she has red, green, and purple. 886. Um, hmm. I guess that's average. A little bit above average, right? Eight. Okay. So cut once. It's an eight red AP cost and ability. Part of being stronger than most foes means that you can strike precisely with overwhelming force and save your power for those that deserve it deals 417 damage regaining 2 ap of the target regaining 2 ap if the target is down so this is essentially a 6 ap costing ability fair enough max level 812 damage Okay, so there's a passive. Um, Namor's match and ability damage is increased by 2%. Oh, Namora's, excuse me. Namora's match and ability damage. See, okay, last time I spoke about them not specifying this. Now they're specifying what the damage or what ability increases okay see they're ca you guys are catching on okay uh namora's match and ability damage is increased by two percent for each blue basic tile on the board okay okay see this is where i always jump the gun i still think four star namor is not good um in the sense of they didn't. Gi they didn't give him the buffs that he deserved. They need to rework him for a third for a, a third time, or for a second time, excuse me. And they need to give him more blue tiles on the board, more blue fortified tiles. They need to make his APs his AP for each ability cost way less. And they need to make him generate AP with board destruction to make him viable and make him compete with these characters that are coming out and even the old characters that are still broken right they need to fix him but i get what they did here you pair her with 
four star Namor, and boom, you got a team, which is pretty cool. I mean, I get it. It's it's, it's, it's awesome, right? But I hope they give us a five star Namor and Namora, and a three star version of each of them, um, and make the three star versions of them compatible with each other. You know? All right. Is increased by two percent for each blue basic tile on the board. Okay. Level three to level five. Level three, it's... Let's see. Okay, so we have to read the beginning part. Uh, deals 696 damage. Regains three red AP. Match and ability damage is increased by 3% for each blue basic tile on the board. Okay, so Four Star Land just got a little bit better with, with uh, Namora and Namor. That's just another team added in there that you can use. Which is fun, right? Creating teams. Using characters that are viable with each other. I just... Like, I, I'm i going to go back to this. I really wish they would have made Old Lace and uh, Gertrude Yorks two separate characters. Just saying. Um, okay, level 4 deals 834 damage. Oh, wait, no. Uh, level 3 is max level 1,356 damage. Wow. That's not bad. Okay, so... Oh, you have to down the target. Oh, wow. Um, Well, let's see. Um, level 4 deals 834 damage, regains 4 red AP. That's kind of broken. Uh, match and ability damage is increased by 4% for each blue basic tile on the board. So this can go real crazy. So this is just the base. This is... Oh, my dog's just barking away. This is just the base damage that it does. So... You have to set this pow this ability. You have to set this ability up by just using Namor or another character that puts blue tiles on the board, and then use this. So you're potentially going to deal more than two thousand damage, right? A lot, a lot more because level five, you do you you regain five red AP if the enemy's down, and then uh, match and ability damage is increased by six percent for each blue basic tile on the board. Max level, 2,079 damage, right? So you're going to be dealing more than that. So maybe one activation of Namor's purple puts fortified tiles on the board, puts blue tiles on the board in those fortified tiles, and boom, you, you can use her red, hit for how much ever damage, you, if you time it correctly, right? You kill the proper character on the enemy team, you down them, rinse, wash, repeat, you generate red AP again, and you activate it again, even though you're not going to down the second enemy, you still want to activate it just to get them to half-life or get them down to potential uh, death, uh, like insta-kill status with maybe Namor's AoE or his black ability, you know? Since I know a lot of people are going to be using them in 4-star land, which, I mean, I will be because it's going to be fun. Um, but, yeah, I could see, you know, this is like a... Uh, this is like a two activations per turn ability, I guess you could say, right? Uh, com like Namora and Namor combo base are a combo based team, and you have to time them correctly, and, and that makes people not speed run the game, which is fine. It's fine by me. I mean, I take my time when I play the game. I don't mind it. And now that this is out, I mean, even more fun. All right. I had to take a drink of my bang energy drink. All right. Um, that's that's a nice ability. Cut, cut once. Eight red AP cost and ability. Um, I like it. It's nice. On to the next. Um, wait. Oh, oh, passive. Name wars. Mass abilities. Okay, so. Okay, fair enough. Um, oh, and another, another trick that you guys kind of want to do with this is four star cyclops his blue generates red ap so we, but you have to match the blue ap right to activate it so you put blue on the board with namor's purple you use four star cyclops's blue to board destruction generate red ap and then you use her red it's a little combo right there just thought i'd throw that out there um okay so now we got no obstacles. It's an eight green AP cost and ability. Cover 
and defensive emplacements will blow before the might of Nomura. Deals 111 damage to the enemy team. See, this is another, like, okay, I'm not even gonna say anything until I, I go over the ability, all right. Um, enemy team, destroying one enemy protect tile or tiles, max level 216 damage. So it's an AOE defense tile destroying ability, okay. It destroys them. You guys gotta pay attention to the wording. It destroys the, the, the tiles. It doesn't remove them. Um, removing the tile or removing the defense tile would just remove the defense tile. It wouldn't, I know that sounds weird, but it wouldn't remove the tile itself. Destroying the tile would hence destroy the tile, therefore causing like a mini cascade or something. You guys gotta pay attention to these things. Um, okay, so there's a passive on this one. Nomura's match and ability damage is increased by 3% for each enemy protectile destroyed up to 5. Okay, so so Namor and Namora in 2-day PvP, you want to use against defense tile creating teams such as Blob, Rhino, Polaris, um who else? There's a lot of other characters. Uh She-Hulk, for example, um, and that's basically the counter like this team is the counter to those characters uh, to those other characters um, So I already see Namora being a Match and ability damage increased character. I guess you can call her um, Like I said strategic team combo based team uh, It's like more of a counter team. So if you find if you're finding like Polaris in the defense style creating character go use them against them and it'll work right all right so level three to level five level three destroys two enemy projectiles match and ability damage increased by four percent level four uh deals 222 damage to the enemy team destroying three enemy projectiles match and ability damage is increased by five percent so that's 15 percent right for, yeah, it's it's so okay. So it says increase it, increased by three percent for each enemy projectile. So that's fifteen percent three. Uh, max level four hundred thirty two damage. That's fine. So this is basically not even like a damage dealing ability, like an effective one. It's just more of a more of a hey, you're gonna create defense tiles. I'm gonna remove them and I'm gonna increase my match damage all at the same time. And I'm gonna increase this ability's damage output as well. So this this ability could potentially uh yeah this ability could potentially hit for like i want to say i want to say 2000 max for now um level five deals 425 damage to the enemy team destroying four enemy projectiles match and ability damage is increased by six percent so 24 percent i think up to 10. Max level 827 damage will be increased as well. Um, I would still rather use. Actually, no. I'd rather use her green, the no obstacles, instead of Namor's. I think Namor is literally only going to be used for his black ability and his his purple ability, which uh, further you know increases Namora's match and ability damage. Right. So he's like a battery specifically for Namora. I kind of get why they made him the way they did with the buffs, you know, with the rework, but I still think that they could have made him better. Um, I mean, it would be understandable if Nomura's abilities all costed like 6 AP or even, you know, let's say 7. But I still think they could have done better with Namor. Um, level 5, we already went over that. I mean, as far as I could tell, it's a 553 character for now. But uh, last but not least, we do have. Purple, Empire's Might is a six purple AP cost and ability. Um, the might of the Empire is not only in its direct projection of strength, but also in its ability to undermine its opponent's ability to fight. Create three red, green, or purple trap tiles. When one of her trap tiles is matched, deal 213 damage. Ignoring projectiles, steal two AP, in the tile's color and convert a random basic tile to blue. Okay, so now I 
like, th this is... Hmm. This is kind of a controversial ability. Because... Namor's blue buffs her... Her red. But his... Per or not, Na uh, not Namor's blue, excuse me. Namor's purple buffs her red because his purple throws out fortified blue tiles. And he's a battery. But Empire's might cost six and it throws out trap tiles, which you have to wait, you know, to match. It says three red, green, or purple trap tiles. It doesn't say random. It doesn't say you can choose the trap tiles, which I'm assuming... I'm assuming you get to choose them because it doesn't specify that you can't. If you get to choose them, then I would probably use this ability over Namor's. Because it costs 6, and I would literally just choose red over and over again. Which would make her a standalone broken character. And then you could use somebody else that puts blue on the board. Um, such as, I think, Hulkbuster? Right? Or he just gen- I, I forgot- um, oh no, Hulkbuster is like a solo character, so he like generates red for himself, right? Um, but I, I really, really hope, and it's never gonna happen, but I hope that they, like, I wish that they would change this to like, e change this to even like yellow or something. Please change it to yellow, just to make Namor and Namor viable with each other. This is just... This is just literally beating a dead horse right here with this ability. Like, purple? Are you serious? After they just gave Namor his buff? Like, it makes no sense. And they made this one cost a lot less. But like I said, if you're able to choose what trap tiles go on the board, then it's GG's. And you could still use her and Namor together. Right? Just as a fun team. Not as a combo based team like I thought um, I really wish this did something else that wasn't that great but uh, let's see is match deal damage ignoring protectiles still two AP in the tiles color and convert a random basic tile to blue so she's like a standalone character as well this literally feeds her red is you know that's what you want red 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 that's it uh, name Namora's match and uh, ability damage increased by 3%. Where is it at? We have 3% for each enemy projectile destroyed. I mean, I guess you can use Namor's, I think it's his black ability that destroys tiles on the board in the shape of a triton. A trident, right? Or whatever you call it. Um, I guess this could work when one of her trap tiles is matched and here's another thing when one of her trap tiles is matched it doesn't say matched or destroyed by the by either team okay if it said if it said when one of her trap tiles is matched or destroyed by either team then this would be a lot more viable but it did it, it's not so it's like i still would rather use Namor's purple over this even though Namor's purple cost more and that's just me But another thing if this is a choose if you are able to choose what tile what trap tiles go out on the board You know, there's a lot of different combos you can do But me personally, I'd rather use purple to put blue on the board and Then use Namora's red and green simple as that is no if ands or buts about it for me That's just that's just the more logical thing to do but if you do find another team for Namora for two day PvP or even PvP simulator, then yeah, use her purple. It costs a lot less and you can feed other characters on your roster uh, red, green, or purple, right? Preferably feeding them green. There's other characters that have better green abilities, right? All right, level three to level five. Uh, level three deals 398 damage, max level 776 damage. Um. Per trap tile, I'm assuming. Ignoring projectiles. Okay, so yeah. Uh, level 4 deals 575 damage. Max level 1,121 damage. Level 5 creates 4 
red, green, or purple trap tiles. Four. Couldn't they have made it six, maybe? Or s even five? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, deals 694 damage. Max level 1,353 damage. Excuse me. Um, good character overall, in my opinion. Um, I really wish they would have made her purple Empire's Might yellow. Or even... Even a black? Or even blue, for that matter. But, uh, it sucks that they made it purple. <laughs> it really does. Like, I, I mean, maybe they have reasons for it. Maybe they made it purple because of there's there's a wimp in it that is out there that we haven't figured out yet, you know? Um, feeder update. So, new is blue. Old is green. The same is green, right? Um, or unchanged is green. So, none, none. Four Star Shuri, Master Engineer, Okoye, obviously. Uh, four Star Namora, Origin, Okoye. So they both feed Okoye, and no three stars feed either of these yet because I think they're gonna make they're gonna make a Black Panther Shuri, which Four Star Shuri feeds, and then uh, they're gonna make a three star with that. And I'm assuming they're gonna make a five star Namora and a three star Namora. I hope they do. I really, really hope they do. Um, another thing is, they messed up with Riri because they didn't make a three-star version of her. And I get it. They said they were they were focusing on the anniversary, but in, I, they could have thrown something out there. They could have made a three-star Shuri exactly like the five-star one, and it would not have affected three-star land at all. And as a matter of fact, it might have made it... Like, it would have stayed the same. Just saying. But uh, overall... This is probably the most simple, simplest character they've made yet. Um, who knows? Who knows what the future holds for if um, if they make a five star Namora? I like this character. Simple four star land. Like I said, you could still use her with Namor. Um, just five five three, best build. If you pair her with Namor. If you don't pair her with Namor, I would say put four red, four, uh, or, yeah, four red, four green, and five purple, and just go off with purple. Just spam it, and then you're gradually going to increase her match damage, um, and ability damage, which is nice. But, uh, in order to increase her green, to do, to deal any sort of damage, you're probably going to have to activate... You're probably gonna have to activate it like two three times per match uh, per fight right but uh, yeah overall um, two day <sighs> yeah two day PvP with uh, in four star land for Namor and Namora right that's like uh, I don't want to say the best team but it's it's a viable team it's a team so Five five three two day PvP paired with Namor. PvP simulator, I would say try to use her with Namor and like um somebody that generates green, right? Cause she feeds her red and Namor feeds her red. But you're not going to be using a character like you're not going to be using her green as effectively because they nobody feeds her green. Try to find somebody that feeds her green in PVP Simulator. Um, but yeah, two day PVP. Pair her with Namor. Obviously, there's better characters to pair her with, but as a as a theme, Namor and Namora work very very well together. Five five three with Namor. Two day PVP. PvP simulator 445 or 553 with Namor as well and somebody who feeds green that doesn't overlap in colors maybe a yellow and blue user such as four star cyclops um maybe infinity war black widow you use her black to stun 
or her yellow to heal and make their abilities cost a lot cheaper. That way you can spam Namora's red. And then PvP or PvE. I mean, I wouldn't really use her in PvE unless it's like a specific node for a specific PvE. Maybe even in boss battle, right? Maybe. But, um... Yeah, that's about it. I, I honestly, I like this character. She seems fun. Um, yeah, that's it. That's I think that's it for this video, guys. Um, as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. MPQ's life, I'm out.